Hey, we're Matt and Johnny from Brothers Make, and today we're going to be taking you around the Lumberjack BS340 bandsaw. Let's go! <laughs> the BS340 is the largest floor standing bandsaw that Lumberjack make, with a 230mm or 9 inch cutting capacity. We've had this machine in our workshop for about six months now to put it through its paces, so here's our overview. <laughs> So one of our favourite things about this saw is its cast iron tabletop. We've used a lot of band saws in the past that have a pressed aluminium top and there's just no comparison. The cast iron is super sturdy and dead flat and the weight of the top helps to keep the saw grounded, making for a much better cut. The table tilting mechanism feels robust and it's made with all metal components instead of plastic ones like you often find. There's also zero play on the tilting mechanism which gives a lot of confidence when making angle cuts. Locking and turning knobs are quite a lot larger than you find on other machines, which means you can get a nice grip and turn and tighten these easily. And the positive stop works great at repeatedly being able to bring you back to 90 degrees every single time. It has a powerful 1100 watt or one and a half horsepower motor, which means it's nice and quiet when it's running. Even when the saw's running, it's actually quiet enough where you can have a conversation. Though we wouldn't recommend having a little gossip mid-cut because you want to make sure you can keep all those lovely fingers. The saw has two operating speeds, so you can select the appropriate speed depending on the hardness of the material that you're cutting. The speed can be changed by slackening off the drive belt and then swapping the belt over to the other drive wheels. Typically we're keeping it on the faster setting as for the most part we're cutting softwood, plywood and MDF, but it's a nice feature to have if you do need it. Along with the saw you also get a rip fence, mitre gauge, push stick and circle cutting jig. The fence attaches to the guide rail, which is fixed to the underside of the cast iron table using four ring bolts. The fence is clamped into position onto the guide rail with this lever. Now there is no adjustment for the clamping force of this lever, but over the last six months of using it pretty continuously, we haven't seen any slacking off and it seems to work really nicely. One thing that's great about this fence is that it has four different configurations of how you could use it. The one we typically use is the tool fence set to the left hand side of the blade as the 125mm height provides great support for material for over half the cutting capacity of the machine. You can also switch the fence around by removing it from the support bar and rotating it 90 degrees. This brings the support down to 10mm which is great for cutting thin materials as you can lower the blade guides down to keep the cut nice and true. And as well as having these two options on the left hand side you can also reverse the fence for use on the right hand side of the blade. We've used DIY circle cutting jigs before and they work fine, but it's really nice having one that comes straight out of the box ready to go with this bandsaw. It's really solid and it gives you the ability to cut up to 82 centimeter circles. The saw has both upper and lower blade guides as standard, and we particularly like how you can adjust the thrust bearings on both the upper and lower guides by simply loosening and sliding the guide assembly forward or backward. Raising or lowering the upper blade guide determines the overall capacity of your cut. And we really like how the knob for loosening and adjusting this is all one single unit. You simply loosen with the inner knob, adjust the height with the outer, and then tighten it back down again. The blade tensioner is another feature where Lumberjack have allowed for another little bit of time saving. Instead of a screw based tensioning system, the BS340 has a quick release blade tension lever which takes a fraction of the time when changing blades. We've also found that the tension stays pretty spot on and we love not having to wind it all the way down just to wind it back up like we've done on other machines. But if you need to make a tweak or if you're swapping to a different blade, then there's a tension scale on the front of the machine that gives you a guide depending on the thickness of the blade that you're using. The tracking knob at the back of the machine can be used for aligning the blade until it sits in the center of the crown of the top wheel. This mechanism is all nicely contained again in a single unit, so you can adjust it and lock it back down nice and easily. Some of our other favorite features include the LED work light, which we actually use a lot more than we thought we would. Even with decent lighting in our workshop, it's really nice just to be able to illuminate your cut line. This can be switched on and off using a button on the front of the machine. We also love how the doors open independently. On our last machine, it felt like it was really tricky to get the whole single door open in one go, whereas this machine has a single lock for each door. The doors also have built-in safety micro switches, which cut the power to the machine and they won't operate again until the doors are closed. The NVR, or the no voltage release switch, means that the machine won't unexpectedly start when the doors are closed. It will only start when the button is pressed. We also love 
love how the dust collection port has three different hose sizes to accommodate the system you already have set up in your workshop. A couple of other handy features are the onboard storage for things like your mitre gauge, allen keys for adjustments, and the push stick. There's also a handy little tray which captures some of the dust that collects inside the machine. This has come in handy so many times when we just need a little bit of sawdust to make some wood filler or something, and we don't want to go digging around in an extractor, we can just open the tray and it's ready to go. So that's some of our favourite things about the machine, but here's a full list of the tech specs. The saw has a maximum cutting depth of 230mm or 9 inches. The maximum width of the throat is 345mm or 14 inches. The cast iron table size is 545 by 515mm. The table height is 1020mm. The table tilts from 0 to 45 degrees. You can choose between cutting speeds of 370 or 800 meters per minute. The 230 volt induction motor is rated at 1100 watts or 1.5 horsepower. The blade length is 2560mm and works with widths between 6 and 25mm or a quarter inch and an inch. The dimensions of the machine are 900mm wide by 720mm deep by 1720mm high. And the machine weighs a total of 75kg. So there is our quick roundup of the Lumberjack BS340 bandsaw. We are really happy with this machine and it genuinely gets used on a daily basis in our workshop. One thing we found to be a super helpful upgrade to add to this machine is a rolling base. For our small space, we like to keep everything mobile and this means we can just wheel the saw out of the way if we need more space for something else. So hopefully you found that useful and if you want to see more of Lumberjack tools, then subscribe to their YouTube channel. And if you want to see more of us, head on over to Brothers Make and see what we're getting up to over there. All right, catch you on the next one. See ya. See you later.